Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Today is going to be another episode of demodding my Toyota Tacoma. So what am I doing today? Well, if you recall, if you watch the channel, you know I put this gorgeous TRD skid plate on here. I had of course painted mine black. Well, it's time to pull that thing off in anticipation of trading in for the 2020 because I'm sure, I hope, it's going to fit on the 2020. But that means we have to go ahead and put the original skid plate for what it's worth back on. Now, one thing I'll, no I'll let you guys know, I did notice there's a little bit of rust on this thing already. Looks like it's been scraped. I don't know if I did that. I don't think so. But uh, a little bit of rust right here already. And you can imagine what that would look like on the front of your truck. Not too pretty. So anyway, I'm going to get the, the Tacoma down here a little bit. And uh, I'll show you how to take this thing off and how to put the new one back on. Stay tuned. Okay, this is pretty easy to do. All you really need is some sort of a wrench. In my case, I'm going to use a DeWalt uh, impact driver. And then also... Uh, socket set. We've got some sockets and things here. That's all you really need. Um, bungee cords are nice to hold this thing up while you're working on it, but it's much easier to take down, I think. I'm going to remove the front two bolts and the rear two bolts there and there. I'm going to leave the middle bolts, and then while I'm holding it, I'm going to remove these middle bolts. Hopefully, uh, I'll only have one left <laughs> to secure it, and then I can remove that with one hand and hold this thing up with the other trying to balance it of course um, I may stick some bungees on there you know in hindsight I think I probably will just so that I don't chance dropping it and scratching it all up because frankly it looks pretty good right now okay we're gonna go ahead and get started I did decide to put uh, a couple of bungee cords under here just to give me that third hand you know we're gonna start here in the back as I said these are uh, number 12 now, yours may be different. I actually, these bolts were missing when I got the kit, so I went and got my own, and they happen to be number 12 uh, bolts. So we're going to start there with our driver, and it's pretty simple. Make sure we keep all these together, of course. What do you know? We actually have two different heads. This is actually bigger. Don't know why I did that. So, the other one I used is a 13. Like I said, I don't know why I did that. Maybe I only picked up one extra bolt. Now that I think about it, I think that's the case. I only picked up one. So, here we go. Washers stuck to my paint under there. I will have to do a little touch up when I'm done, I'm sure, uh, before I put it on the next truck. But anyway, that takes care of those. Now all the rest of these are actually, let's see, it looks like 11 sixteenths. So I need to switch out my setup here. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully this thing holds up there okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go up here to the front and we'll remove the bolts up here on the front. There you go. I think we've got it. we got one here and we've got one here. So, like I said, wish me luck. We're going to go ahead and pull these. all feels like it's a little bit bound in there. I don't know why. Well, they're just really, really long. Yeah. That's very strange. Oh, these don't come off. I forgot. These don't actually get removed from the uh, 
skid plate itself, they are fastened in. So let's just make sure we got it loose. Well, and I lied, this one actually came out. But they're not designed to come out. So. Probably gonna have to take a look at that once I get it down. Okay, these bolts actually did come out. I don't think they're supposed to, so I'll be curious to see what that looks like on the other side. Looks like this thread got a little chompy on there, at least on this one. I think it'll be okay, but it looks like one of the threads kind of gave way. I don't know. We'll find out when we go to put it back on. But let's go ahead and uh, see about removing the two center ones, they're the only ones holding it up now. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't just drop. That would really suck. But let's go. If you guys heard that, there's a spacer in there. It actually fell out and started to roll down the driveway. Alright, here we go. The last one. This thing weighs like 40 pounds, so... Yeah, we are free, and there went the other spacer. We're going to leave that balance for just a second. <laughs> to grab the other spacer. Alright, let's go ahead now. All I have to do is finagle this out of there. to do it without hitting the ground. Don't ask me how, but I did. Okay, we're all situated. That wasn't too bad. Um, we do have spacers, as I mentioned before, that were on there that came off. Uh, they're not designed to come off, really. They kind of have a, oh, I don't know what you call it. It's like a little clip washer, pressure washer that holds them on. So let me point you down. I'll show you that. Here you can see right here this is what they're supposed to come off like they have these little pressure kind of um, washers on the inside and then the spacers that you can see right here so we're going to see about putting these back through and this is kind of my way so that i don't lose the uh the hardware we're going to see if we can't put that back on should be able to just kind of screw it on there, I think. I hope. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. We'll come back on when it's done. I don't want to have you on here for that. It's going to take me a few minutes because you can't just screw it back on. Probably going to have to get some pliers. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, you guys can see the uh, TRD skid plate is being stored right there in anticipation, waiting for its new uh, its new owner. Now. We're going to put the original skid plate back up there. And before you can do that, uh, there are four bolts that we took out uh, because those holes were actually used with the TRD skid plate. So <clears throat> we have to put those back in. They're located here, 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 and here. So I'm going to go ahead and get those back on uh, because the OEM skid plate is going to actually cover up the holes where they go So we need to go ahead and get that done before we can move on and I'll probably torque these down by hand with just a ratchet But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Big Bertha here to go ahead and put them in uh, They do look all the same to me. Uh, this is what they look like. There are four of them. I believe they're the same bolts uh, I hope so because <laughs> we're gonna just put them in so here we go. Let's see. There's one. Two. Three. Last but not least, number four. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and grab a ratchet. 
Uh, I'm gonna just hand tighten those because I want to make sure they're tight but not kill them. And to be honest, uh, again, unless you're some kind of uh, caveman, I don't think you could break these. Uh, they're pretty stout. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll come back on and get the skid plate set back up. Okay, we've got everything torqued down. We used Rob Motive muscle for that. And I gotta say, there is no way you're gonna over torque those or break them. Like I said, unless you're some kind of behemoth, I, I don't know. So let's go ahead and get the OEM skid plate back on. One thing that's nice about this, it has little slots in it, one on each side, corresponding to a little hook that's up here on the top, one here and then one down here. So you can actually hang this thing up there uh, before you have to actually work on it. It's very, very handy. Just like that. I mean, you can't ask for anything easier than that. So now, I'm going to grab the bolts. This thing looks to be, if I recall, only held on by four bolts. So, not much. And I have the bolts here. You'll notice they're much less uh, beefy than, uh, than what we just took off. So, let's go ahead and get these things started. Let's see if I guess the right size. I did. This is a 12 millimeter. Um, might even use a 10. Let's check. Ah, uh, no. It does not use a 10. So what happened? Come on, Toyota. You get us used to using 10 millimeter bolts and then you throw in a 12? Come on, man. Okay, let's get our adapter going. This won't take long to do. And again, especially now since I'm working with even uh, smaller screws or bolts. Uh, don't want to over tighten these. I can see easily snapping the heads off of these things and uh, I have done that in the past a few times. So let's go under here. I think you guys got a pretty good vantage point from there I think. Go ahead and put these back on. Should be able to find the points and we can. One on each side here. And these are all the same bolts. It makes life easier. Want to kind of get them started on there, like so. Oh, let's hit them with it. Go ahead and secure the front. Uh, looks like one here and one here, I believe. And it does need a little bit of wiggle room, so definitely don't want to tighten those down all the way. I'm going to start with the easy one here. Because why not? Okay, over here, same thing. Ooh, gotta be careful. Just snug these others and then like I said, I'm gonna tighten them by hand. There. I'll grab the ratchet, tighten those by hand, and then we'll be just about done. Okay, you guys can see right there, that is the uh, OEM skid plate. The TRD is now officially off, again, waiting for the 2020 to arrive. Uh, this is not a difficult project. The hardest part of putting the skid plate on, the TRD skid plate, is just holding it and muscling it up there because it is heavy. Um, this thing weighs nothing, so you can do it with one arm or one finger or whatever you want. It's pretty simple to do. I did uh, torque those down, again, Rob Motive style. Um, you should use a torque wrench probably, but uh, hey, you know, I don't have one. 
And there is, uh, they're pretty tight. You know, a smart guy might put some Loctite on these uh, just to hold them in there, but we both know who we're dealing with, right? Uh, anyway, that's it. That's the unmodding or remodding or back to stock, whatever you want to call it, front skid plate on the Tacoma. Pretty weak, really. If you do any off-roading, I would think you definitely want to replace that with something. Uh, it's uh, paper thin, especially compared to the TRD skid plate. It's a uh, quarter inch aluminum, granted, but it's pretty strong. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Any of you switch this thing out? How'd your install go? Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.